In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Wizard LM locally on your own Linux server. For this purpose, I will be using Amazon SageMaker's notebook instance, which is based on Amazon Linux 2, and I will be using G4D and Xlarge instance in AWS. You can use any instance, Linux instance of your choice on any operating system using the same command, which I'll be using in this code, and I'll put all the commands in my blog and I will drop the link to that blog in my video description. So don't need to copy paste all of these commands. Okay, cool. Now just to quickly show you the page again of this wizard LM, this is the wizard LM which is based on Llama 2 and I'll be using the quantized version from Bloke. So heads off to Bloke for creating this GPTQ version as it's a GPTQ version. So I can fit it in on single GPU which is used by this G4 DNS large instance. And if you quickly look at the leaderboard, you will see that Wizard LM is already there and it is already passing a lot of tests on this one. Okay, enough talk. Let me open this notebook instance and let's start installing it. My notebook instance is ready. I'm going to select this notebook Conda underscore PyTorch underscore P310. Let me also change the theme to dark, it will be easier to look at. This is cool, let me make it a bit bigger. Okay, nice. First step is to install the Transformers library. So put it in the first cell with colon, uh, with exclamation mark, sorry, at the start so that it will install it. Let's wait for it to finish. Transformer is installed. Second step, let's clone auto GPTQ. We need to build it in order to use in this repo. It doesn't take too long, so it's done. Now let's CD to this GPTQ and then install it through pip3. It takes around two to three minutes, so let's wait. This step is done, took around five minutes but all done without any error. In the next step, we are going to download this model, the quantized version from Blow. And as I mentioned earlier, it is around 35 gig or so. So you uh, just sit back, relax, and wait for it to download. Let it start, and then um, we will go to the next step. It started and it is downloading it. You can see that this file is 35.3 gig and the ETA is around 20 minutes or so, give and take. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay guys, here is the, here is the status. The download of model failed with out of memory error as you can see on the screen. And this has failed even if I upgraded my EC2 instance from G4 DN4 uh, to 4X large and still it is failing. So what I would do, I would upgrade it maybe 8x large and try it again and see how it goes but these are the full installation steps of wizard lm and uh, let me also just to close the loop let me also show you the last uh, step where this is the last step which we need to do where we are giving it a prompt and this is the prompt format in which we need to uh, give it to it i think it is based on vicuna and then it will go through the pipeline and generate the response for you and print it out here. And I will, as I said, I will drop all the commands in my blog and drop the link to the blog in the description. So this is it. Um, the apologies I couldn't show you in this video, the whole step to step because of this out of memory error. But as I said, even after upgrade, it failed. So let me double the instance size when I have access to it and then I will recreate this video. Um, best of luck if you have the beefy instance with a lot of GPUs and memory, maybe try it out and see how it goes. Thanks for listening and if you like the content, please um, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.